Once again, um, you know, I realize that you are all in different stages of development. So I just judged each and every one at their own level, uh, not really comparing to others because, you know, some people start playing violin when they're six and others when they're 13. So you, it's not fair to, to just um, do it all in the same way. So um, let's start with Finian Veracini, the Zik. I thought that uh, the Zik was played with a suitable tempo and it was dancing sometimes. Um, in a Zik, we need to emphasize um, the first beat a little more and then the third beat. So in a Baroque style, we have what we call uh, beat hierarchy. We have strong and weak beats. And in, a, in this one, which is a 12, eight, but in, in essence, a four, four, a four time, the first and the third beats will be the stronger ones and the second and the fourth will be the weaker ones. So if you just pay a little, um, um, uh, pay more attention to this stylistic element, um, I think it will make quite a difference in your performance. Um, in general, you have good intonation. Some places were just slightly flat, so you can, you can still work on this. But you bow with ease and the way you are playing, I sometimes wondered if you would maybe be interested in playing viola. So I don't know, give it a try. It might be something for you. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't play the violin anymore, but the way you play, I think maybe viola can be interesting to you. And the rest of the world, because we never have enough viola players. And then um, we have Malaika, Dublin time. The jig was lively, but do be careful not to rush. Um, and although the first beat was sometimes slurred together with the last beats in the previous bar, it will be helpful to emphasize the first beats more. And um, then you will keep in time a little bit better. Um, you need to feel that first beat, whether it's in a, its own bow or slurred to the, to, to the bar before. Donation was generally good. So you got honors. Um, okay, I'm keeping this for last. Savannah, I'm keeping you for last. Um, four. Okay, then we have Kondwani. Um, your cello tone is strong and powerful. That is very, very important when one plays the cello. Um, for you, you just, need, you just need to check your bow hold and make sure that your right shoulder doesn't tense up because I keep seeing this, this shoulder going up. For cello, it's really important that you're totally relaxed and you get the best possible tone. 
with the least effort. Uh, intonation is good, but you do need to take care of it sometimes. Uh, you, you tend to play a little bit sharp. You're the only one um, in this, I said for who played sharp and not flat. <laughs> so just take care, just make sure that you don't play slightly, slightly sharp and relax that shoulder. you got honors. Then we have Kaylee, somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah, here was a nice uh, atmosphere and uh, expressive playing. Your use of bow speed and bow division is quite impressive. Um, try to follow the piano a little bit better, although I do understand that the rhythm here is a little bit complicated at times. Um, in general, good intonation, and um, I think it's time for you to start vibrato. You also got honors. I did see a little bit of vibrato on the last note, but I think you can you can start using it more often. Um, then we have another cello, Layla, Mean Street Chase. This was a, was a rhythmical performance. Um, you have a nice sound on the lower strings, but maybe try in this piece also to emphasize the first beats a bit more. We need to have a, a bit more of that rock quality. Also got honors. Then we have Matthew who played Hungarian dance, um, a vi vibrant tempo. You paid attention to all the composer's indications, um, tempo, dynamics, everything. Um, careful with the intonation, especially on the very high notes. Uh, I think you can still work on from now on, uh, on producing a rounded tone on the E string, uh, but you have a good feeling for the style of this piece. Um, you got honors as well. And then we have the last three. Okay, it was Sandy. You started with vigor and lots of energy. It was bold and rhythmical. Um, you need to take a bit more care of the intonation, um, especially in those tricky double stops. You need to keep working on this. Um, yeah, today this was a little bit of a problem. Um, you can work on the double stops by sometimes practicing the two voices separately so that your fingers just learn where to go and then you put it together. But I thought this piece suited you quite well. I think you need to keep working on it and enjoy it a bit more. You got a merit. Then we have Ava who played the contretemps. Um, I thought you started with a suitable tempo. Um, but you need to keep it up and try to listen to the piano a little bit better. Um, intonation in general was good and you make good use of the bow. Um, you need to understand what the, the names of your pieces mean. Contratans, uh, the tans means uh, dance and it says there donnerwetter, which means a thunderstorm. So uh, we need to hear much more of, of, of those things. So always make sure that you know the, what the names of your pieces mean because it immediately will help you to play differently. Also got a merit. And then we have Alexa who played the air. You need to also understand the name of your piece. Um, air is always a type of a song. Um, although we have two up bows often, I thought it could be much more flowing and singing. Uh, also take care of our intonation and always listen to the piano. You went always together. Um, your bow control is good, um, but keep working on different bowing styles. So, and, and then, you know, make sure you understand the name of your piece, then you will automatically bow differently. You also got a merit. And now we go to Savannah. Uh, you play with confidence and a full bow. Um, I just thought a few musical things um, you can take care of. You need to take a bit more time at the end of each section after retardando, before the next bit starts, next part starts, or before a tempo. Just never feel rushed because um, um, music sometimes needs just a moment of time. There's no reason to rush anything. Uh, and breathe before the tranquilo because what does tranquilo mean? It means calm. So you need to breathe before you start playing. Um, in general, your intonation was very good. Don't rush your semi quaver runs, um, but you bow with great ease and a relaxed arm. And you know, generally, I think you play with such such confidence. So I gave you a diploma for this one. 
Congratulations, everybody.